no stopping us. Hey guys, what's up? Jeff here again to orient your fitness in the right direction. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a gait abnormality or a walking abnormality that quite a few people have called Trendelenburg gait. Maybe you even have it yourself. And essentially when you have Trendelenburg gait, your pelvis is tilting towards the opposite side when you're walking. Because you have two phases of walking essentially. You have your stance phase where your foot's planted on the ground, and you have the swing phase where your foot's lifted off the ground and you're going to take your next step. So let's say I'm taking a step with my right leg and this leg is swinging off the ground. So my left side is supporting my whole body weight. Let's say that that's going on. So if this leg is off the ground and I'm taking a step with this leg, it with Trendelenburg gait, this pelvis is gonna tilt towards the opposite side. It's gonna tilt and that's gonna cause back issues, it's gonna cause hip issues, it's gonna cause knee issues. And I'll explain how in a little bit. But quite a few people have this if you're standing right behind them and they're wearing, they have their shirt tucked into their pants, they have a belt on, you'll be able to see quite easily if they have this, their pelvis is going to tilt like that. And you could even see this on yourself most likely. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to demonstrate on myself. Okay, so I'm going to be lifting my right leg off the ground, so you're going to see my pelvis drop towards the right side. So hopefully you can see it on me, so I'm going to be taking a step and you're going to see my pelvis drop. So it's going to look like this. When I take a step, it's going to look like that. My pelvis is going to drop down like that. Hopefully I'm demonstrating well, but your pelvis drops like that. It's going to drop. So essentially what causes Trendelenburg gait is a weakness in a muscle that I've talked about in my previous videos called your gluteus medius muscle. And your gluteus medius is responsible for stabilizing your pelvis so it doesn't tilt towards the opposite side. So if I have weakness in my left gluteus medius, and I'm lifting my right leg up off the ground to take a step, if my gluteus medius is strong, this pelvis should stay relatively level. If it's weak, my pelvis is gonna tilt towards the opposite side. And that isn't good, because it can cause knee pain on my left leg, because my knee could come in more. That can cause knee pain. It's gonna cause hip issues, because if my hip keeps dropping like that, it's gonna cause issues in my hip right here. And it's gonna cause back pain over time too. Cause if my pelvis is repeatedly dropping towards the opposite side, then other muscles are gonna compensate on this side right here. So one muscle that can compensate for weakness in my left gluteus medius is a muscle called the quadratus lumborum. And I've mentioned this in a previous video, but your quadratus lumborum, it's a lower back muscle. It attaches to your lumbar spine. So that's attachments right here. And Pretty much if that muscle is very tight, it's going to cause extra compression in your lower back and cause back pain. And many people have back pain due to this quadratus lumbar muscle, perhaps because they have this Trendelenburg gait. So if your pelvis is keep, keeps dropping down like that and this right side keeps stretching, then your quadratus lumbar, it's going to hike up your pelvis. That's one of the jobs of it. It hikes up your pelvis on the side it's on. So it's going to hike up your pelvis more and more because this side keeps dropping. So then this muscle is going to overfire to hike up your pelvis. So by correcting the muscle and the weakness in your muscle here, your weakness in your gluteus medius, then your back pain could slowly get better with time because this muscle won't have to compensate as much. And I'll also put a, sh a link to a stretch for that muscle, the quadratus lumborum. I'll put a link to that stretch up there in the description, up there in the annotation and down in the, the description below. That's a good muscle to stretch out. And hopefully that taught you guys something valuable about Trendelenburg gait. And I'll also put a link to a gluteus medius exercise up in the description, up in the annotation I mean, and down in the, the description below so you have access to that. So anyways, this has been Jeff again once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. Hopefully you found this video useful and you know what to do, thumb up the video, comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.